This is why you can't get no girls. I like, getting girls is not just about looks. We all have that ugly friend that's ugly as hell but pull a lot of females. You have to have confidence, and a lot of y'all don't have confidence. When you idolize females more than yourself, you lose your confidence. Convince your mind that you are the catch, not her. Girls don't like when you keep hitting them up saying, hey, beautiful, or how was your day, beautiful? That puts you down and boosts her up. She treats you however she wants because she knows that she's the catch. You can feel confidence. They know you're not a confident man. Now they treat you accordingly to that. You beat your meat a lot, you lower your confidence. Because you're so used to beating your meat to females that when you come across one, it's like you don't know what to say. It's like you're less confident. And it's subconscious. You don't even know why. Start loving and taking care of yourself first before you start trying to slide on females. They're going to start gravitating towards you the more that you start taking care of yourself and loving yourself. They pick up on that. The more that you chase them, the more that you push them away. Now, after this video, go in all them DMs and send all them hey beautiful and good morning hun messages. Then get in your bag with your life and watch her come back in like a month. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. And as y'all can see, I'm coming live from the Rose Garden, man. Take a look at it. Take a look at it, man. Another beauty. We got another beautiful day, man. It's Tuesday. Man, listen. Y'all already know I gotta thank the Most High for waking me up this morning and giving me another opportunity to be great. And I wanna send a big shout out to my brother and my ancestors that's up there looking out for your boy. I love y'all, man. Look at this sky. Look at this sky. We got a few clouds up there. You know what I mean? I don't see no chemtrails today, but now I mean ain't nothing up there, bro. Yeah, man, but we got another beauty, man. For real, but I really wanted y'all to see that message. You know what I mean? From Real Chosen, man. Shout out to Real Chosen. Because like I told y'all, man, if you treat her like a superstar, she gonna treat you like a fan. If you treat her like a superstar, she is going to treat you like a fan. You know? And it was just like he said, too. We all got that one friend. You know what I mean? That don't got the looks, don't got all of the flashy shit, don't got none of that shit. But they pull a lot of women and it's their confidence, bro. You know what I mean? But you will never have confidence if you're doing shit that take away from that. You know, if you steady chasing, if you steady fapping, if you steady validating and pedestalizing, bro. None of those things is going to help you catch a nice girl. Catch a good girl. You know what I mean? The girl that you want, bro. Because all of that chasing... Listen, bro, all you're going to do is push her away because you steady chasing her. you steady treating her like a superstar. And guess what, bro? All you doing is lowering your value when you do that. You know what I mean? you making yourself look thirsty when you do that. You know? And that's, and that's exactly what you do. You know, all of that pedestalizing and shit, all of that shit that we see these days, bro. Listen, it's, it's, it's crazy how much simping is going on. We didn't all been there. But we had to snap out of it. So first we had to start with loving ourselves, right? And then we had to stop doing things that were stealing away from our life, you know? And we really had to start working on ourselves, bro. Because when you work on yourself, it's just like he said, the women are going to gravitate towards you because you're showing that self-love, you know? A woman don't want to be, you know, just approached, like that you know especially by someone that don't even love themselves or someone that don't have good energy somebody that don't have confidence bro you're gonna scare them away every time or you're gonna open yourself up because you're so thirsty you know you lusting so much you so you know you pedestalizing her and making her feel like she just the one she the catch she the prize listen that's how a lot of dudes get used and abused that's how a lot of dudes get cheated on that's how a lot of dudes end up in these relationships and get ran over because they stop loving themselves. They stop working on, you know what I mean, being the best version of who they are. You know what I mean? They get off their purpose. They fall off completely. They fall off completely and then wonder why that female then moved on. They wonder why that female want the masculine guy, the confident guy, the one that shows more love, the one that don't chase. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're not chasing, guess what? They want to start pursuing you now. They want to start chasing you now. You the one that got to find time for them. And they doing whatever it takes to make you think like, listen, I'm the one. So they going to keep putting themselves out there. But if you steady just texting, you know, you steady all in them DMs. You steady, man, bro, you look weak. You know what I mean? And that's what you got a lot of. You got a lot of weak dudes. They weak for pussy. You know what I mean? They weak for they weak for everything, brother. It's just like, man, this sun is killing my eyes right now. 
in a good way though, in a good way, you know? I think your shit's still floating around out here, but yeah, man, it's like, yo, you know, we gotta stop this shit, bro, as men, because these women ain't getting no better either. You know what I mean? The more simps that's out here, bro, the ones that's the more them, uh, guys that you see that's doing all of this, chasing and validating and all of that shit, treating these chicks that's not even worthy at that. That's the crazy part. Like, bro, you got dudes that's treating chicks that's not even worthy like they superstars. You know what I mean? And they treating they, and then the guys, the simps, they treating themselves like they ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and they think that these women ain't picking up on that. Bro, these women smart as fuck. That's what y'all got to understand. You know what I mean? You you are ter you go terribly wrong thinking that these women aren't smart. These women are very smart and they can pick up on energy. You know what I mean? Just like us. If not better than us, bro. If not more than us, bro. Because that feminine energy that they have, bro, listen, dog. That shit ain't no joke either. So that's why you got to be in your masculine energy too and understand that your energy is, I mean, your masculine energy is a, is a, is a, a force to be reckoned with as well. But if you don't have that, bro, that feminine energy is going to fuck you up. That feminine energy going to have you down bad. It's going to have you out here just like these motherfuckers that's lost. That don't know what to do, that then lost everything, can't stop chasing women, can't stop chasing pussy, can't stop fapping, they can't stop doing none of that shit. The Jezebel spirit and the succubus got them. They got them, bro, and then they're sucking them dry. That's why you see them all the time. They look dusty, they look rusty, they look tired, they look finished, they look through with life. You know what I'm saying? They just look drained of everything, but still trying to look flashy at the same time, like, bro. Listen, dog. you know, that's just an unhealthy lifestyle, but we see it so much. You see it out there in them bars and them clubs, bruh. That's why some of these motherfuckers can't, they can't stay out of that element. They can't stay out of that element, bruh, because that's where they do all of their chasing and validating, and that's where they get their fix at. They get that fix in there, so they want that quick thing and don't even know that that quick thing been, guess that, 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 that shit been fucking their life up for I don't know how long. That quick pussy been keeping them low on energy for I don't know how long. That quick, that, man, listen, bro, these females is the reason why they underachieve most of their life. And they don't even realize it, bro, because they still stuck in that mode. And they don't even know, bro, that's what stunted they growth. That's why they never could get to the level that they always wanted to. That's why they got to listen to music. Right? They always listening to music of people that are elevating in their life, that got the money, that's doing their thing. They say they keep that shit in their stereos. They keep bumping that shit because they live in their life through the music that they listen to, through the people that they following on Instagram. Meanwhile, their life is in a dumpster. Meanwhile, their life is in a dumpster, bro. That's why I be telling you, bro, you got to focus on you. All that paying attention to these celebrities, all that, all that paying attention to these artists and shit, people that's living their lives, all that paying attention to the people that's around them, that's living their lives. Listen, bro, it don't do nothing for you because you still not paying attention to you while you doing that. You still out here doing the same shit that you've been doing since you was a teenager, you know, and you, st you still never got to, you know, you still never you know, embrace yourself. You still never found who you was. And that's what fucking you up. That's why you keep doing all of this shit. You steady listening and watching everybody else. You don't even know who you are. You don't even know who you are. You don't even love yourself, bro. So how the fuck you think other people gonna love you if you don't even love you, bro? But out here wanna chase hoes. Wonder what, and then be, and then some of these motherfuckers that do that shit be the ones that's out here bashing the chicks. Like, hold up, wait, don't bash when you steady out here validating and chasing them. When you steady pedestalizing them, don't get mad because these women are on to your shit. And they don't want nothing to do with you, bro. See, that's wrong. That's why we can't do that. You know what I mean? That's why it was important for us to turn the focus on ourselves. And listen, bro, when you do that, everything else going to fall into place. You know what I mean? Because now you focused enough to stay on your purpose. You know, you start focusing on your health. You start thinking about things that you never thought about. You know what I mean? You getting smarter with money. You know, all of this shit just start happening for you while you on this journey. 
you know, and then don't be, and, and, and that's why I say don't even be surprised when the women start coming. It's all because you're taking care of yourself now. That's why they coming. That's why they sending choosing signals. That's why they floating around and all of that shit. That's why they hitting you up because they see how happy you are now. They see how they, they see the self love in you and they like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It's like shit. You know, you didn't have that before. And anytime you don't have that, bro, you're not attractive out here. You don't have no confidence out here. And don't nobody want no uh, person that's just that's, that's not confident in themselves, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to try to give it to you. If you ain't got that confidence, these women don't want nothing to do with you. Because now you're giving off those weird vibes. That's why you got to stay away from porn. Because porn, that just take all of that shit away from you. You ain't got no masculine energy. You got no confidence. You got nothing to bring to the table. You just got that same old game. That same old game that never got you nowhere. And a few, a few nice clothes. And a couple of chains. That's it. And a regular job. That's what you got. That's what you bring to the table and some dick. You know what I mean? And listen, bro, that's that's a okay. That's a starter pack for a rat. You know what I'm saying? That's a rat starter pack. If you want to keep having a rat starter pack, that's on you. But if you really trying to elevate and really find where the real queens is at, the real queens is going to find you the more you elevate, by the way. You know what I'm saying? The more you zone in on yourself, by the way. That, 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 like I said, all of that shit going to fall into place. But if you want to keep the rat starter pack and stay up in these bars, stay up in these clubs and all of that shit, always got to have on a new outfit, something to cover up the fact that you don't love yourself, bro, then keep on. Keep on listening to these rappers and entertainers and all these motherfuckers that's living their life. They living their life. You following them. But that ain't true. That's not true. That's why motherfuckers be getting so lost in this shit. Like, bro, that's not true. You ain't got the bag. You know what I mean? You ain't got the bag. And not only that, bro. See, the real motherfuckers, they, they could. The, this is the thing. When you working on yourself, bro, you can listen to certain things and really relate. It don't make you feel no type of way. You not really living like how they living or nothing. I'm not saying you just can't enjoy music. But some people, they live their life through that shit. You know what I'm saying? And not elevating in any type of way. So it's really like a, 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 a form of porn. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you watching porn, but you imagining that you doing it and you fapping. It's like people do the same thing with music. They listen to music and really think that that's them and that's their life. And they not doing nothing to actually get to that type of level in whatever way they trying to do it. They not doing that. You know what I'm saying? They living their life through motherfuckers. And it ain't nothing worse than you living your life through other motherfuckers. You know what I mean? You know, coattail riding and, 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 and thinking that they success is your success. They success ain't your success. Only person that's going to make their own success is you and the most high, bro. But you will never do that if you're not doing what it takes to get closer to the most high. If you're not doing what it takes to get yourself better. If you're not doing what it takes to level up your life and change your attitude and be willing to take the steps to get there. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying, bro. We got to do better and understand that. Listen, bro, when you start to realize that you are the prize out here, bro, everything's going to start falling in place. You ain't going to have to do no chasing. When you really start to absorb and have self-love for yourself, and guess what? All of these lights are going to start clicking on, and then you're going to start putting your energy into the things that's going to elevate you even more, and that will become an addiction of yours. You know what I'm saying? The most high going to keep blessing you while you do that. But if you continue to do that same old shit, you know what I'm saying? With your rat starter pack, you know what I mean? And covering up your problems and shit, bro. Guess what, bro? Ain't going to be nothing out here for you. Before you know it, you're going to be out there hair gray. You know what I mean? Still ain't got, you know, nothing. You ain't got shit. You know, you ain't did shit with your life. And you still doing the same old thing. Don't let that be you, all right? And that's my word, man. My name JC and the Sante. I'll let y'all later, man. Peace. Uh, yeah. Give you this, give you that, but Cindy got nothing for you. No simping in my decisions. I got to keep it royal. King shit, I'm the gift. I promise I won't adore you. But I will explore you.